so. He's not wrong though. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I should be. I become about convinced right now. now. Considering what happened in the fight against McBurn, he's probably the one responsible for these stream crashes. It seemed kind of different though. Like he'd lost his spark. Yeah. His sole objective in life seemed to be to get revenge for his old Jaeger Corps killed by Osborne. Maybe he's just not sure what to do with himself now that he's done just that? Perhaps. But yeah, McBurn, the man who will crash the stream again and again. Yep, and this is probably Scarlet's room. Inside. And judging by the fact that V is in the next room. Hmm? Come on in if you like. Excuse me. Don't even bother voicing the laugh, then. Hmm. Hello there, love. I'd heard you came on board yesterday, so I did wonder whether we would run into normally. one another at some point. Hello, Scarlet. Yep. So no Last hard feelings about me destroying your Trista, or Steel, right? Quite a memorable day for both of us, wasn't it? There's no need to stand hmm. over there. Come and have a seat. I'll pour us some tea. Y you really don't have to. <laughs> well, I guess that was no humming, harm in not whistling. For a bit. These tea leaves really are wonderful, aren't they? Only the best for the airship huh. of Erebonia's most powerful noble, I suppose. Yeah. I have to admit, the fragrance is like no tea I've ever had Nobles before. Nobles do love their tea. You're right, though. It makes sense if it's something Duke Cayenne personally chose. Oh? I was under the impression that your family is a part of the nobility, too. Your father is yep. a baron, isn't he? That is correct. He might be a noble, but generally barons aren't all that wealthy. We live a relatively modest lifestyle. <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah, which is the first time I've noticed that tattoo. Before, but maybe my family was actually more well off than yours. Yeah. And Scarlet, I heard she lost her old hometown when he went and built a railway through it. Oh yeah, that's all we heard about her past. What kind of family did you come from then? Oh. They weren't nobles, if that's what you're wondering. They were just relatively wealthy farmers. We were almost local celebrities in a way. Oh, huh, so they I say. <laughs> you're wondering how someone like me became a terrorist? It's written all over your face. Well, you see, let me share a bit about the local celebrities that I know of. Well, First of all, I can't there's. I deny that the... I'm curious. Yeah, well, first of all, there's a local photographer who's an old fa who's a family friend, and and who has earned quite a bit of fame in the area. And there's also Gideon, the best Smash player in the area. I heard that you lost your he hometown has because me Osborne down built a railway in, through it. I remember, or I went to a local, and he oh, beat me down in a, tell you? a tournament. No, I suppose it must have been V. He never was one to keep quiet about things. That was about a... Y I'd say... Yeah, that was about a year ago. So... I mean... What happened? Some things are best left unsaid, I think. It's not as if knowing would somehow allow you to change things. I suppose. Huh. <laughs> You're so adorable, Reen. Now I know why C took a liking to you. What do you say? Huh. How about you come and fight with me and the other big girls and boys? It'll be fun, I promise. As long as McBurn isn't a part of it. <sighs> Please, stop teasing me. Anyway, thank you for the tea. It wasn't just made with high-quality leaves. It was brewed exceptionally, too. <laughs> You're very welcome. 
Oh, actually, I may as well ask while I have the chance. Where did you learn how to use that weapon of yours anyway? It's pretty unique. Oh, that? Yeah. I suppose it can't hurt to tell you. The holy city of Arteria. That actually makes a lot of sense. The Arteria? Where the high seat of the Septian Church is? That's the one. It's called a Templar Sword, and it's a traditional weapon in the church. A few years ago, yep. I was studying to be a sister and was trained in how to use it there. Hmm. Surely you must be talking about some other church, right? You're telling me there are sisters in the Septian Church who use weapons like that? I know it. <laughs> there are more things in this world you don't know than you could possibly imagine. Well, it doesn't matter huh. much now. I ended up returning to Erebonia before my training was complete. Oh? Anyway, that's all I'm telling you for now. I'll give you the full <laughs> story if you decide to join us. Sound fair? And if you choose not to huh. join, well, that way has its own charms, I suppose. So yeah, it's a win-win situation for you, is what you're saying. That was she a nice She ended talk. up being a lot friendlier than I expected her to be. I wonder how yeah. much of what she was saying about being a sister was true. Well, I mean, considering she wields a Templar sword... She seemed to really hate the Chancellor. I wonder what she intends to do now that he's gone. Now... Time to play a big risk game. So, um, I'm not knocking on this door. Because I have a feeling that as soon as I do, McBurn's going to hop on out. And I don't want that. I can sense someone inside. Oh! What the? Let's just ignore that one for now. Huh? I think I can sense someone inside. Given the circumstances, I imagine it must be one of the people who fought us in your mirror. You think you can sense someone inside there? So, I wonder who's in here. Hmm, we got a visitor? Come on in. Oh, God! Excuse me. Oh, God, you're not giving me a choice! Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> McBurn isn't you. in here. Up? Have a seat. Bourbon? I suppose not. Yeah, I really shouldn't. How come yeah. you guys are being so friendly, though? I mean, we're on opposing sides and all. Well... <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? It's not like we're on a battlefield right now. We're Jaegers. Nothing unusual about us trying to cut some throats one day that's sitting in a bar with the same guys the next. Of course, I suppose that's right. if you would rather fight with us, that can be arranged. I'd rather wait for a better time. I shall have to politely decline. For one thing, I don't think I'd stand the slightest chance of taking you two down. Maybe if I had the power of friendship with the hey, right now, side. Hey, no need to be so pessimistic. He seems to think pretty highly of you. Have a little more faith in yourself. At the very yeah. least, you'd be able to give us a real fight in your divine night. Are you suggesting you fight us on Not foot? Not that I'd have any intention of losing even then. The scary thing is... I'm pretty sure he's dead serious. Well, they're used to taking out tanks. They probably have their ways. Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah? Ranking 72nd for the year in an academy full of big shot students ain't half bad. <sighs> yeah. It brings a tear to my eye to see our little Fee putting her heart into her education. Oh, you're talking about Fee. And don't forget, she was the youngest of her classmates, too. The boss was right when he said that she can do anything she puts her mind to. You got that right. Maybe joining the gardening club will make her a bit more ladylike, too. Huh. Oh, who am I kidding? She's still young. She has plenty of time to develop on that front if she so pleases. 
<laughs> they really seem to adore her, like two proud parents talking about their child. And yet... If you don't mind me asking, why did you leave Fee behind? After your boss was killed in a battle with his sworn enemy, I mean. Yeah. Oh, Fee told you about that. A miss. It sounds like you're closer to her than I thought you were. I trust this is simply me being paranoid. But you haven't tried making any moves on her, have you? No. No, of course not. I wouldn't dream of it. I just want to know why you'd abandon her when she obviously means so much to the two of you. She thought of you all like family. Why did you leave her all alone? Well... Hmm. We had our reasons. Let's leave it at that. I know you want Very to know. Well, then. You're not the one we should be telling that to. We'll be sure to tell Fee our reasons in due time. Until okay, then. Leave the issue be. Alright. I can accept that. Still, she's our classmate. In that sense, she's like family to me, to us, too. And we feel that way about her just as strongly as you do, if not more so. Huh. I want to be perfectly clear on that. <laughs> Fighting words right there. Still, we'll remember you said that. Leonidas will remember that. Returning to the matter at hand. You're sure you haven't tried to make any moves on her? Who do you Come think on, I am? Out. They really are like two overprotective fathers. Well, that was a nice talk. I was hoping to get a bit more out of them about what Zephyr is up to. All we did was talk about Fee the whole time. <sighs> oh well. At least now I know that the guys in Zephyr really cared about her, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. Yep. So I think before we play Door Russian Roulette, I'm going to use the restroom. And then I'm going to talk to the weakest enforcer. Not including the ones that are crippled, or have their status unknown, or are reformed, or dead. Now let's talk to weakest enforcer man. Or just Look, approach him. You, Reen Schwarzer. And you aren't wearing your mask uh, anymore. You're the Phantom Thief! You sure look comfortable. What are you doing here? Ha <laughs> ha! Why wouldn't I be? I'm as much a guest on this ship as you are. 
And who would deny themselves the pleasure of a ship so beautiful? I will say it does have nice the room service. The furnishings are immaculate. The food and wine are positively sumptuous. I can't deny and that. And I am of the firm belief that it's wasteful not to take advantage of the opportunities life presents you. And I can't really argue with that either. Ah, and speaking of opportunities, don't just stand there. Take a seat and join me in having a drink. You've been blessed with the rare chance to sit and chat one-on-one -on -one with the most beloved thief of our time. I can't believe that's how you huh. describe yourself. Well, what the hell. I'll have a drink. Nothing alcoholic, though. Funny. I didn't realize you'd met Prince Oliver. Yeah, that was a while ago. Ah, indeed. There are few even among royals whose palate is so refined as his. So if I remember correctly, you first met about two years ago. Between our shared love of then beauty fought a bit later. and fundamental difference of opinion on the later. nature of love, he forever remains an endless source of entertainment for me. I suddenly feel very sorry for him. What happened down in Liberal sounds pretty amazing, though. I'd heard there yeah, were problems with orbital technology in Southern Erebonia at the time, but I had no idea that was why. <laughs> that magnificent floating city was quite the sight to behold, let me tell you. Oh, how I wish I could have shown it to you. I would ask you if you took a picture, but no. Oh, orbital cameras wouldn't be working at the time. It would have changed your view of the world completely. Uh, if only Abyss was in Liberal at the time. It really does sound amazing. Wait, why am I sitting here having a friendly discussion with a wanted criminal? You've had friendly discussions with several wanted criminals. He has so many interesting and unusual stories, I got completely caught up listening to them. Yeah, like, did you hear the one about how he stole a man's wife? Ha <laughs> ha! A thief of my caliber can steal much more than objects read. There. I was able to steal much of your time and your interest. Yeah, I mean, he can steal your height. Perhaps I stole your heart as well. Rest no. assured that did not happen. Your stories were interesting, though, I'll admit. By the way... You wouldn't happen to know where Prince Oliver is now, would you? Last I checked, he wasn't actively fighting against the Alliance. Ha ha! I imagine Duke Kayan would welcome a man like the Prince with open arms into the Alliance, if he so wished to join. To my knowledge, but no. he was always wary of the Chancellor himself. But I yeah. digress. I'm afraid not even I know where he is at the moment. However, I'm inclined to believe that wherever he's hiding, the Crimson Wings is there with him. So oh, the yes, courageous we haven't heard where the Courageous too, is. Although the Duke's got some nerve if he expects Prince Oliver to side with him after he imprisoned the rest of the Imperial family. But think. These kinds of things are simply what the great nobles of this country have always done. The War of the Lions, too, was brought about by numerous families of some standing backing potential successors to the throne. <sighs> Emperor Dreykels, as a late arrival to the war, was a mere exception to the rule. <laughs> I wonder, does Prince Oliver think himself as the second coming of Dreykels? One of which is to bring the winds of change to Thor's military academy. A gust of fresh air, if you will. Very well, yep. I'll admit, I hesitated. We believed then. I'll skip past that because it's all flashback stuff. From what I can tell, he intends to try and end this war in a slightly different way from Dreykel's. Oh? Do tell. Would it be Sorry, smart to give information to my enemies? Thanks for all the interesting stories. They helped me work through things in my head a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm pleased to hear it. I will be waiting at the edge of my seat to hear which path you choose. Join us. And you'll be warmly welcomed. Naturally, I'm fascinated by you as the Ashen Knight's pilot. 
But I'm even more fascinated with that brute strength of yours. I would love the chance to see the power of an ogre up close. Ogre, I doubt it's half say. as interesting as what you're thinking. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Now it's time to play Russian Roulette with doors. Left or right? Left or right? Hey, come on. Alright, just gotta punch the air like a glass window. I ended up punching the ground like a glass window. And since my left hand goes and hurts more, I'll go left. Given the circumstances... Huh? It's open. Hmm. It's empty. Weird. I could have sworn I sent someone in here. Oh, thank God. Oh. Also glad to see you again. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, it's just you. So I heard that voice and thought you were someone else. Well. Looking at okay, her down like this, she really is just a child. Maybe 12 yeah. or 13? Somewhere close to Milliam's age. How did a yeah, kid in all like likelihood this fighting with the Alliance? <sighs> well, how did Milliam end up in Class Seven? Who are you? Who's calling me? Is she talking in her sleep? <laughs> Situation assessed. Location is a room inside the guest area of the Pentagruel. Nine yep, hours that's have where passed you are. since initial loss of consciousness. Guess she's sleeping comfortably enough here. Then again, she needs it at her age. She's got plenty of growing left. Indeed. Wait. Huh? Um, good morning? Reen Schwarzer, why are you here? Unless my memories have been tampered with, I believe this room was solely allocated to me. Oh, it was. Oh, okay. Sorry. If I'd known you were sleeping, I wouldn't have come in here. So you're...